Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. I'm here again with a bit of a more chill angle, not on my main camera, not that I think it matters. It's been a bit rough lately, so I thought I'm gonna sit down very calmly here and go through all of the boxes that I have piled up here. I have Owl Crate, I have Fairy Loot, I have Unplugged Box, and I also have Book Box Club. But I thought I'm gonna go sit down here and open them up and see what we think. Let's start with the Unplugged Book Box. Oh, of course, I'll link all of these boxes down below. Um, these were sent to me in exchange for an honest review, which I always am, and I always ask you guys for your honest review down below. But all of the links to their shops are down below. I have codes for some of them. None of them are affiliate. Ooh, fun. Okay, so I do know one thing about this box is that they reached out to me because uh, this actually includes their second wine glass, which I just use for orange juice. <laughs> it's perfect for orange juice. That's from like Harry Potter series, so I'm hella pumped for that one. But um, that's how it looks like when you open it. It says, wake up with a purpose is the theme. Oh, November, this is November, cool. So I think I'm just gonna start with that because it's right here and it has Harry's glasses and Harry's scar. I think the last one, if I'm not mistaken, says uh, when in doubt, go to the library. And this one says exceptionally ordinary is the Luna glass. There we are. It has the Luna Spectre specs here and it says exceptionally ordinary. Oh, that's so cute. I'm so glad to have a second one, especially because they'll match. And I really like their size because we just somehow just have either really massive glasses um, or mugs. We don't really drink a lot here and when Logan does it's just like from a beer bottle because we're that sophisticated. Next up is something wrapped in this beautiful tissue paper. Sorry, I just kind of unboxed it. Oh, I thought it was gonna be candle, but it's not. It's a clean start sugar scrub. Oh, that's a lot of it. Uh, from Lara Jeans is the inspiration for this. Made by Natural Pure Hon uh, Honest for Unplugged Book Box. I love the color. It's very, um, ooh, smells really nice. It's like, smells a bit like citrusy but in a really nice way. It has all the ingredients there for you to check and it's a really really generous size. Then we have a little candle here and it says Prince and the Five. Oh what's that for? Strawberry tarts, vanilla and glittering gowns. Ooh very glittery. I love that. Ooh that's beautiful. Big fan of that. Baggy here with... <gasps> Gorget sword? No, it's Game of Thrones sword. <laughs> Just Harry Potter in the lane. It has a little Game of Thrones sword here. What is the purpose of you? Oh, the candles from the selection. Oh my god, the light's reflecting into my face. Oh, it's a letter opener. It was a tiny letter opener. That's pretty cool. It's very cute. And then we have a bookmark as well. And this one is based on Curse of Dark and Lonely. One of my favorite reads this year, actually. Then we have a playlist card. You always include this playlist card for new music if you wanted to, according to the theme. And a gratitude journal card on the other side with some prompts for your gratitude. Last but definitely not least, we have the book. And this is wrapped in this black paper. And you also have a lot of, like, uh, wrinkle paper here. And I definitely recommend you guys just keep that stuff from the book boxes um, for times like this when it's near Christmas and you need all of the wrapping materials. And it's really good to, you know, recycle, upcycle, whatever you can do. And it saves you some pennies on, like, buying wrapping and packaging materials, if you, especially if you're sending stuff to a friend or something. So the book is Beyond the Black Door. How it looks underneath. Ooh, pretty. Pretty spine. Kamai was warned to never open the black door, but she didn't listen. <laughs> Story of every book. Okay, so this seems to be about a girl who sees this door everywhere and she's warned not to open and then she listens and she hears stuff. When everything goes badly, she kind of goes ahead and opens the door. And at the core, it says that this is a book about a character coming to terms with her asexuality. So there's also that representation here if you're interested in picking this up. And obviously, I'm assuming something happens when she opens the door, which intrigues me. As always, please let me know if you have read this and if you think that it would be my kind of thing so I can bump it up in the TBR. And the last thing in this box is the theme for the next box and this is tying loose ends. Yeah, I'm gonna be here for a while but you can go, um, it yeah. should be one of the open, okay, okay I'll show you. Chapter one, private drive. It's supposed to be private. Private drive. <laughs> 
So Unplug Box is uh, based in US and now let's move on to a UK one since we have like a nice selection this time. So it's the Book Box Club and let me open that. Oh, maybe I'll use my letter opener from the previous box to do that. Although I do have scissors nearby. Oh, but it did work. So we tested that one. <laughs> um, this is also a November's box and it looks like this when you open it. It says Dangers of the Deep. I wonder if this is going to be all about like undersea stuff. Maybe, maybe not. I suppose we'll see. They always include this letter with your name on it, which I think is <laughs> really, really cute and personalized. It actually has all the information about the book meetup. I'm not gonna open it, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I'm opening it, but it would have all the information of when the book club meets to discuss it and they often if maybe not always have the author there as well so which is pretty cool because you can ask the questions directly then um we have a map illustration for deep light by francis hardinge it's signed by the artist i assume and i'm kind of thinking that probably is the book as well <laughs> but the book is actually on the top again and it's pretty chunky beautifully wrapped as per usual deep light so um i feel like we've been having a lot of books that have the word deep on the title i don't know maybe it's just me uh oh it has a beautiful map inside i don't know if this is exclusive to book box club or not but um it has this heart illustration um on the spine oh cool that's a really interesting spine. I don't think it's signed by the author, but the signature might be like later on somewhere. I really like the art style, especially in the back as well. They have all of the creatures. How cool. It's like a, you know those kids encyclopedias? That's what it reminds me of. So it seems like it's about the island. It says the underwater gods of the myriad were as real as the coastlines and currents and the merciless as the winds and whirlpools. Then one day they rose up and tore each other apart, killing many hundreds of Icelanders and changing the myriad forever. But it kind of has the sound of uh, someone going in somewhere underwater to achieve something very valuable to save the island so uh, it reminds me a little bit of Moana so that <laughs> can, be, can be like um, along those lines. You guys probably know that I'm not the biggest fan of the sea setting in general so I will really want you guys to tell me if this is any good if you have read it because it's not something I would personally gravitate towards but it's dang beautiful and if you guys tell me that it's good then I'll listen. Now for the goodies we have first up this uh, Dangers of the Deep Sea Shampoo bar Ooh, um really beautifully packed i really don't want to open it because i feel like this could be also a really cool gift to someone so i think i'm gonna keep that because of the christmas period and probably gonna re-gift that to someone because it's just so beautiful and i want to make someone else happy oh god shit <laughs> i want to make someone else happy too we have a coaster but it's actually like a ceramic coaster and it has this neptune how do you call this logan how do you call this no it's not a spear trident trident trident, trident. <laughs> you have the fork. Hmm? battle fork i don't trust you <laughs> and it has this cork on the other side so you won't scratch your table but it's actually ceramic which is cool i don't think i've ever had one in a box the sea is every this is such an interesting pin i think this is again like a ceramic kind of pin it's really chunky and it has this octopus on it and it's really fun it's really big though i don't know i've never seen one like that with this material that's really cool um handmade by cherry pie lane that's really cool very sea appropriate as well obviously then we have a pair of socks always love myself some booker socks and this one actually has a bunch of mermaids very fitting to the theme you have some light sky with the moon on top here this is actually really really cute sock a couple of promotional items so there is this little bookmark reality is an illusion the places i've cried in public <laughs> i think this is a champ uh, champler <laughs> a sample chap chapter sample chapter sample jesus and then the last item is actually a little notebook which is really cute it has this big whale i'm assuming maybe this is for moby dick maybe um and a really beautiful art actually really like that i'll definitely be keeping and using that so that is our book box club okay moving on to owl crate it's very very packed and super heavy this time Ooh, because there is a blanket inside hello all forests are magic throw blankets really soft it has this um pinkish purple tone and what are you oh it's a very it's a fairly small blanket which is understandable because obviously <laughs> they had to fit it into the box which is not the biggest one so it's like a fairly small one but really good for like if you have a kid to be honest um i think I'm, i'll have to show you a clip because i can't really oh no 
has a little bit of shedding, but most blankets do it at the very beginning, so I'm sure it'll settle down. Ooh, okay. This pin is gorgeous. So it's this beautiful moth by Four Season Fox. All right, it didn't even look like their design. Oh, I love it though. This is such a beautiful pen, one of my favorites, I think, from theirs. Oh, and this is the theme card. <laughs> uh, Enchanted, en Enchanted? Enchanted Forest um, with this art on the front. Then we have this brown envelope. It says, I will create exclusive, created by Juniper and Ivy Designs. Ooh, it's a Christmas ornament. Yeah, I have some blanket in my hair. <laughs> so it says, trees in your eyes, stars in your heart. I'll have to check what that is from but it's pretty the raven voice cool next up we have a sheet of stickers um so these are perfect for your like bullet journaling and such owl some mushrooms i think they're like kind of hollow i think they're a little bit hollow have some crystals and some and a tree so it's very christmasy then we have so it's a metallic bookmark um has this tassel here and it says there was a song in this forest too but it was a savage song whispering of madness and tearing and rage as by Nomi Novak so it's either I think it's going to be spinning silver just judging by the colors then we have the reading planner oh it looks really beautiful um it's really big and this is why probably the <laughs> the box was so heavy it has this one it belongs to page and your book wish list monthly tbr weekly planner and book review pages and i think it kind of repeats itself with these woodland ornaments and it has a note page as well i think really really handy if you prefer to keep your reading or actually you can do everything in this one i think um so you're sort of for the next year if you were looking for a planner that included reading tracking um then there's a promotional item for uh the second book for um, amber and dust lastly we have a book the dear reader letter and then the book but actually has sprayed edges which is pretty cool and a beautiful cover and it's called Winterwood it's signed by the author here and underneath ooh pretty it's a pretty short book as well and it looks very festive so perfect for the season of course in short it seems to be about a group of women who are possibly witches and the their bond with the woods and something is shifting in the woods you know the usual spiel um a really beautiful book let me know again if you've read this though all items were really strong and it was definitely one of the more like packed boxes they had in a while there's also their book led here and this is how the normal cover looks like because we got an owl crate exclusive one so the normal one is black and this one is white i actually really prefer ours and the next theme is tales and trickery and december will include an item by chatty nora fairy loot um left to last like there's not gonna be a surprise you guys know i always say this and preface it i my daytime job is at fairy loot so i am very biased and this is not gonna be a um, review per se i'm just gonna show you the items and yeah, that's how the box looks like when you open it. This is, the theme is magical folk and with this beautiful art by Tara. So first up we have this fluffy uh, face mask with a foil design and this is by Stella, right? Yeah, this is by Stella Bookish Art and it is inspired by Stranger Dreamer because obviously that is very fitting <laughs> for the sleeping mask. It says, it was impossible of course, but when did that ever stop any dream from dreaming by Lainey Taylor. That's how it looks like. It's super soft. Cool. Next up, with an ornament, um, same as last year around this time, it is designed by KDP Letters and it actually features a quote from Harry Potter. So it says it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live by obviously Dumbledore. <laughs> then we have a Faye phone ring, which is one of those things that you can put on the other side of your phone if you need to, like that. Um, and this one is, you're not my type, Faye are my type. So this would have a focus. There it is. It's like golden. And this is designed by Novran Tail. Next up there is this iron-on patch, which is inspired by... Hello? 
<laughs> angel fall and it has this sword with a teddy bear on top of the hill and this one is done by bookmark tattoo we also will have another reading journal because <laughs> this is the time of the year it is a year-long one january to december it is quite thin so it's good for you if you want to carry it alongside your normal journal and it has all the constellation vibes <laughs> and it features beautiful art by monolime throughout the journal it has a year-long reading challenge if you wanted some challenges for your reading just overall you can play along january what is that um month at a glance then similar to before uh this type of books for your tbr and then books read books to buy favorite quotes page some notes page so the illustrations are actually inspired by the zodiac signs so and according to the months as well so it kind of repeats with different colors so i'm just going to show you the illustrations this is taurus i think or aries this is taurus so this is gemini this is cancer i'll just keep showing you these there you go there's another one another one i think this is the last one um i love monolime art and again i'm just very biased so i like it um then we have the second installment into the secret books series so the first one here so the first one looked like this with some secret quotes inside um and i keep my like the fairy loot tarot cards in here and some other bits but that's what the first one looked like and this one has a Alice in Wonderland Curiouser and Curiouser um, quote on it. Looks like this. This is again designed by Novern Tail, same as the previous one. Um, it's a really beautiful design. I really love it. And obviously it will, um, I'm just showing that upside down, but obviously it will sit really nicely toward next to the other ones. Has all of these quotes on the inside again but obviously different ones <laughs> according to the theme. Then we have a wooden bookmark. This one is for Spin the Dawn. So this part is done by Katerina Book Designs um, and has a quote. And this one is done by Merwild. Then we have the tarot cards and those are the last one by the this uh, particular artist. So excited to see the next ones. Um, and we have the world and we have uh, the devil and these are from Stalking Jack the Ripper. That's the one. Okay, almost there. <laughs> so we have our pouch with everything inside regarding the book. First of all, we have our bookmark that matches the theme art and we have our fairy scoop with the next theme which is to find the odds and we have our art print of the characters with a dear reader letter on the other side and the book of the month is uh, river of royal blood by amanda joy and has beautiful black sprayed edges it is signed by the author the underneath it is just simple black with some silver foil and it is a story about the sisters it says that need to fight to the death in a north african inspired fantasy world so includes blood magic let me know again if you've read this one and if it was any good and i think that actually sums it up and i feel like quite tired now because that was a lot but let me know which box was your personal favorite this time around which book you think should go at a top of my tbr from all of these that i've unboxed now and what item was your favorite because i'm intrigued <laughs> but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it i uh, hope the real song is going well if you're participating thanks so much for watching stay awesome stay kind and i'll see you in the next one bye